I should forfeit, even in my own opinion, the place I have so long held in yours, if I could be indifferent to your approbation and silent on the motives which have induced me to join the king's arms. When I quitted domestic happiness for the perils of the field, I conceived the rights of my country in danger, and that duty and honor called me to her defense. I had my suspicions of some imperfections in our councils, but having then less to do in the cabinet than the field, I continued to be guided in the negligent confidence of a soldier. The whole world saw that all America confessed that the overtures of the Second Congress exceeded our wishes and expectations. I affect no disguise and therefore frankly declare that in these principles I had determined to retain my arms and command for an opportunity to surrender them to Great Britain. Some may think I continued in the struggle of these unhappy days too long, and others that I quitted it too soon. In behalf of the candid among the latter, some of whom I believe serve blindly but honestly, I pray God to give them all the lights requisite to their own safety before it is too late. And with respect to that herd of censurers whose enmity to me originates in their hatred to the principles by which I am now led to devote my life to the reunion of the British Empire as the best and only means to dry up the streams of misery that have deluged this country, they may be assured that I shall treat their malice with contempt and neglect.